Okay, guys, so I got to tell you, I just about came up here just to see this. So I told you all about this. I teased this in a in a um, video, uh, in a, in a sorry, my mind scrambled, in an Instagram post the other day. So this is Yoder's new icon. So Yoder's brand new in an icon. And this is, there is no doubt, this is the most loaded out boat I have ever seen in my life. So I've got Mitch. You guys remember Mitch from NTB. He's the founder of NTB, uh, who was originally nicknamed NASA. Now I have re-nicknamed him Q, because if you're a James Bond fan, you know Q is the guy who makes the exploding pins and everything else. And if he is nothing else, this young man is creative, and he's he's created some really cool stuff. So he's talking to somebody right now. I'm gonna grab him in just a second. I'm gonna update my battery here. And I'm gonna show y'all some really cool stuff on this icon. All right, guys, there's Mitch, AKA Q, AKA NASA. Talk to me about what you've done here, Mitch. So at uh, Jones Marine Electronics for 2024, we put together the sickest icon you can build. We did two 8616 XSVs of the console with the Garmin boat switch, so everything is ran through the graphs. From the 2024 Titan system, the LumaShore deck lighting, which lights up the whole boat, a night vision camera on the front of it so you can drive through your console at the night. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we, we got to talk about the night vision This has a dual position. Okay, I want to make sure y'all heard that. It's got a night vision camera on the boat that will play through your graph. So now you can run your perspective mode and your phone? Yeah, sorry. So there's your night vision camera on the front. This allows you to drive through the boat, through the graphs at night. You can whip down the lake. We did uh, two live scopes up front, perspective mode on the all board marine hybrid all scan, and uh, the forward on the shaft. Transparently, a lot of three graphs up front. The one we saw the most. So we did three graphs up front, we did the 22 inch bow ship on the top, and yeah. twin 16 destroyers on the bottom. And I mean, that's rude. It's not even bad, right? I, I'm surprised. Look at that camera. So it's both a night vision and a regular vision. Just correct, yeah. So when you can, okay, Mitch, so if you're idling into a spot and it's real stumpy and you want to look at the stumps in front of you, can you turn that camera down and check them out? Yes, sir, you can reach down there with your hand and you can adjust that camera angle, the pitch of it, so you can see the stumps and what's in front of you. Like I tell you, I, I thought about that idea at Muskogee in the river years ago and that's a really cool deal, so. All right, so we've got five graphs, three NBTs, two garments. Talk to me about the, the uh, turret mount. So we went with the all-board marine, all-scan hybrid. This allows you to lock on where your trolling motor is going and where your scope's going. So with a quick flick of a button, you can have your scope independently from the trolling motor, and a click of the button, you can have it back locked to go with the so trolling motor. So if you're spot locked, you can control it, or you can just let it like we always do you when you're chase, scanning. Chase it when you're scanning, Got spot it. locked, you can go outwards. That is okay. I'm sorry, I don't cuss on my channel much, but that is badass. Yeah, we have everything you can put on this boat. Everything. Now, talk to me about the control system. So, as you guys know, the Icon comes with its fully integrated control system to begin with. And we're still using that, but we went even farther. We integrated all the gauges, um, lighting packages through LumaShore, night vision camera. We got your radios built in, um, everything on it, the Titan system. Everything is integrated through the graphs. There is not one thing that is not considered digital switching on this phone. Okay. So I've got, what are those buttons down there? These are your forward and reverse button for the Titan brake systems. So you got forward and reverse on the Titan brake systems. And that spins in both ways. So you're saying Titan brake systems like everybody knows what that is. Oh, well, the Titan brake systems are the new product from NBT Marine. It's a rear mounted, vertical deploying trolling motor system that allows you to use total boat control so you can push your boat forward, brake it backwards for the general purpose of it. And these are just about everything else you can think of. Shallow fishing, nose in areas, Deep fishing, backing off fish. And you designed this so it does not have to attach to the power pole. Correct. Let's it's go check it out. Completely independent. So at the back of the boat here, we have the Titan boat control system. This basically works like a jack plate. You've got a slider plate on the back here that goes up and down vertically with your trolling motor housing attached to the bottom of it, allowing you to deploy them up and down without the use of the power pole. That is cool. And it's forward and reverse. So if you want to pick up speed, you can go. You want, yeah, if you want to go down a bank, whipping a chatterbait, you can set the speed to half or three quarters and have this thing push you down the bank. 
use your trolling motor out front to change the course direction of the hull, and uh, you can go down the bank with ease. And, ease. <laughs> and you literally put live scope on both of them too. Oh, well, you have to have rear mounted live scopes, and the common purpose with uh, those rear mounted live scopes, they're mounted in the jack plates, and they're breaking off all the time. So now with these, when you're idling around, you can deploy your system, idle around in the stumps, you know, you know, don't go in too fast, and then pick them back up before you go on pad and break them off. So now you save your rear mounted live scope systems as well. Wow. All right, so if a guy does not have power poles, can you still mount those somewhere? If a guy doesn't have power poles, you can buy your traditional power pole housing that goes with the boat, whatever bracket you need that's designed by power pole, and you mount these directly right to it on their own. So that will deploy as high or as low, but you made a comment a minute ago, it doesn't have to go very far down. I mean, the water line's pretty low back there, Correct. right? The water line's very low. So when you have them up, they're, the prop sits half in the water to begin with when they're all the way up. So right now, they're probably about four inches in the water in this hall, right, right in line with that rubber. Are you seeing it impact the whole shot at all? Not at all, because they're up and they don't it cause any drag. And that they don't, don't look like they weigh very much either. They weigh about 21 pounds per side, okay. 40 pounds total. That is really, really cool, Mitch. I gotta tell you. And I mean, just the whole look of the boat is extremely cool. Come out of your computer going to the special I just spotted something else and I said, hey, what's that? <laughs> That is the active you can on. Yep, hold on. On board It feels so silly when you're told to look at those things with the little screen. Oh, I know. Oh, you got 22 died. inches up there. She died. I was going to show you. We had it set up so the aqua view camera was in the bottom corner, but I can't get it to come on. So there's multiple cameras on the boat. Oh, yeah. Underwater cameras, night vision cameras, all kinds of stuff. Okay guys, so I, I did that video at, at the Classic and I've got a bunch more content from the Classic. And, and look, I, I admit it, I went up there purely to be a fanboy. I had a couple of meetings with some folks that I needed to uh, just kind of get a face, face to face with. I will tell you this, having walked around, um, I wish I'd have done it for more than a day. I, I was there, I came in when it opened and I left when it closed. And I still didn't see everybody I wanted to see. I kept bumping into people walking through the crowd. And anybody who's bumped into me in a crowd knows if you stop me and talk to me, we're going to stand there and talk for a little while. So I had a great time. Um, I got some things accomplished. Uh, we now know what our electronics are going to be on the boat. And you guys hopefully will know that this week. We'll have everything, I'm hoping, rigged this week and be back to fishing regularly. But um, I'll tell you the two biggest lines that I saw there was uh, the line for uh, Rick Clun's autograph and the line for Bill Dance's autograph. And I actually consider standing in both because I'm such a fan of both of those guys. Uh, but uh, I got to meet Kevin Van Dam, got to meet uh, Wheeler, just had a great time. And, uh, but I, so I posted something. So this, I, I wanted to get, and by the way, I got some video of some other really beautiful boats beside the Icon, Bass Cops, Bass Cats, some Tritons, some Rangers, a whole bunch of stuff I'm gonna post. But um, this particular video, uh, I was just so astonished at the amount of electronics and I've kind of wanted to add it up. I haven't yet. I mean, I, you saw that, that ticker at the bottom of the page. I mean, just the two 8616s on the dash are $5,500, $5,600, I think, retail a piece. I, I think somebody said there's 60 ish thousand dollars worth of electronics on that boat. And I, I think if you include power poles and and uh, and the trolling motor, it may be more than that. But uh, spectacular boat. And, and what I wanted to share with you guys is I actually did a, a really quick Instagram video of that boat. The boat's for sale. The boat was for sale. I don't know if it's sold yet or not, but uh, I, I did a quick Instagram video and you guys know, so I, I'm trying to grow my Instagram. It's much harder to grow than YouTube is. And it's harder for me to post every single day. Uh, you know, I've, I've historically until just till I haven't had a boat, I've posted twice a week on YouTube, but gosh, to grow Instagram, you got to do it just about every day. And I just don't have the time since I have a regular job to do that. And by the way, I hope you can't see what a mess my office is right now, but, um, I, I posted this Instagram video and the next morning I got up, and you know, I got a couple of thousand Instagram followers and it had 130,000 views 
in less than 24 hours. And so I'm recording this Sunday night. It's, it's way over half a million views. It's, it's blown up. Uh, it's really gotten a, a lot of traction on Instagram and it's increased my subscribership a little bit as well. So a lot of fun, but I thought I would throw that Instagram video or at least the clip. It's not the actual video. It's the clip, but not the Instagram video. I'm going to throw it on the back of this uh, and let y'all watch it right here in just a second. So you'll hear me talk about what they're asking for the boat, kind of what the retail on the boat is. And uh, I would be surprised if he ever gets to fish out of this boat. I think somebody's going to look at this boat and say, I got to have that boat. Uh, and, you know, obviously you can bring your boat over to, to Jones and, and they can get it rigged just this way. I will tell you, when I first saw crappie brakes, whatever you want to call them, the braking system, I thought, well, that that's kind of overkill. But of everything that I've seen over the last few months, it's probably the one thing that I want the most. I don't know that we're going to get it on this boat yet because I don't think uh, Next Big Thing's got enough of them for me to get one yet. Uh, it's right out of production. They rolled that out at the Classic. But that's something I want on my boat. And I absolutely do not need that camera, but I totally want one of those cameras on my boat. I, I literally, I mentioned it in one of these videos. I was at the, at the um, fishing a BFL in Muskogee on the Arkansas River and went, ran way down the river and I was idling in the backwater. And it wasn't terribly muddy backwater, so you could see the stumps. But if you've ever, if you've ever been on Palestine, it was like Flat Creek, right? Where, I mean, it's literally stump to stump to stump to stump. And I thought to myself, gosh, wouldn't it be easy for somebody to create a video card and let me put a camera on my front deck and I could just duck those. And I've done that, right? I've sat on the front deck with my partner and said, left, right, left, right. This lets you do it yourself in real time. And that's that's a time saver and, and also a like a boat damage. You know, a couple of years ago when Palestine got so low, man, I scratched one of my boats up bad getting around on Palestine. So anyway, those are the two. I, I, I've got the other stuff. Um, those are the two things that I saw that I really would like to eventually get on this next boat that I don't know will be on it initially, but because I, I didn't ask what the camera system is and I've kind of hit my budget for the boat this year, but it's something I do want to get. So we'll see if we can get there or not. But anyway, here's this Instagram video. And again, I got a lot more footage from the, uh, from the classic expo coming up and uh, congratulations to the young man who won the, uh, uh, Mr. Hamner who won Justin, I believe who won the classic. That's really cool. Uh, it's wild to you know kind of look at that top ten and and none of them be historically household names. It is a it's a new age in bass fishing. It's a it's a young man's game. Um, if you haven't seen it on uh, Chris Zaldane's uh, podcast the other day, he had Seth Fighter and Seth made the comment. He said, you know, when I grew up bass fishing, you really hit your prime in bass fishing in your early to mid forties because that's when you had that sort of that massive experience and everything kind of gelled. And he said, you know, right when I get to my mid forties, the best bash freshmen in the world were in their early twenties. And uh, it's changed the game. It's changed it dramatically. And uh, for those of us who still do want to tournament fish, you, we're going to have to get better at some of the things that we're historically not comfortable with, but uh, we can do it. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how I'm going to do it over the next few months. Uh, you guys watching, if you're interested. So, Here's my Instagram video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll uh, have more footage up for y'all real soon. Okay guys, if you want the boat, everybody's gonna talk about. This is an icon at the show this year. It's a got two 16s and a 22 on the front deck. It's got a, 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 a ghost trailer motor. It has dual live scopes on the front. It's got a regular view and a night view camera. It's got a turret system on it. It's got two 8,000 series Garmin's at the dash. It's got their new crappie brake system with two more live scopes on the back. It's a 2024 to show. I don't think this boat has an hour on it yet. And what's really cool is you can drive your boat and look at stumps in front of you. You can angle that camera down. Or it's also a night vision camera for at night you're moving around. This boat retail, it's got $60,000 plus dollars of electronics on it. $189,000. They want to sell it here for one hundred and forty-nine dollars Reach out to the folks at Jones Marine Electronics.